One of the quickest ways after you have finished working with your material to save up hard drive space is just to delete the render and the transcoded files. If you're not going to be using the, if you've got no plan to be re-editing the footage, you can just delete them straight away. The quickest way to do that is on the actual library here, click on whichever uh, video that you've finished uh, working on, go up to file and then just move down to delete generated event files and you can delete everything here. You can do uh, render files, um, unused only or all or delete um, optimize and proxy media. And that's just the quickest way, just dump it all, move it all or move the original files to your external hard drive, it takes up a small amount of space. However, if you want to know how many megabytes you're actually going to be saving, or in this case gigabytes, there's a slightly different method to that. Let's go to the head um, library folder, go to uh, reveal in finder, and what was that? It was number 45 Mori place that I was doing it there. So if we go in there, this brings you up to the uh, folder that you hear. So this was from October 2020, and you can see, oh my goodness, that is ticking up. 720, no, 708 gigabytes. If you right click on that, go to show package contents, that will give you all the uh, libraries that you've got in there. And as you can see, this one is at the top being the largest size uh, video file here. So if you want to see how many gigabytes and which ones you're actually going to get be get, getting rid of, you can see the original media. If you want to keep that, always keep that, that's fine. <laughs> that is only, less than 40 gigabytes. So yeah, that's my memory card, that's the screen capture, that's the audio capture, um, done. Yeah, I'm happy with that being 40 gigabytes. That is suitable to keep. However, the transcoded media is 170 gigabytes. Uh, and the render files isn't too big, that's only seven, uh, two, so almost no render files, so that's absolutely fine. Uh, so the transcoded media, I must have done high quality as well. So the high quality, if you do transcoded media at high quality, that is, huge 168 so yeah um it's just a case of click that one in fact you don't need to click that one just click on the whole transcoded media and just drag to the bin down here you might have seen that bit down there and now it's gone down to the bottom then the, my next biggest property my next biggest shoot was a was a Learmonth terrace and here the rent so the original media is oh my goodness the original media is only 2.78 gigabytes um tiny uh, as you can see, quite a lot of video files, and because in my, my kind of shoots it's like 8 seconds that way, 4 seconds up the way, panning into a room for 5 seconds, you know, so they're all fairly small files. Um, so the original media, yeah, isn't going to be that big, but the transcoded media, it's just gone straight for high quality, is 28, and the render files has done high quality and all that stuff. So again, I'm not going to be editing, um, what, and I can, I can happily go and edit, but I just don't need... Uh, these files here, so happily drag them into the bin there, and then we can just go uh, open up the bin, see how much we're going to be saving. A total of two hundred and forty-two gigabytes uh, in just those uh, <laughs> in those things there. So yeah, happy to delete that. Click empty, done. So very quickly, I can now see. Oh my goodness, it's a lot of files, lot of files. That, that was just them. So now uh, I've now gained a lot of extra memory back there. So very quick way for you to get rid of all the files that you're not using. And you can go back straight back into editing all that stuff. You just need to transcode the video footage again and uh, make uh, render files whenever you're actually editing. So it just goes nice and smooth. But otherwise, you don't need all that stuff once you've actually finished with the projects.